Welcome to this video on the basics of applying to a co-op job on JobMine. Part 1 covers checking that your JobMine profile is good to go and uploading applications. Part 2 covers searching for job applications. Both touch on how to apply to jobs, so you may want to review both videos. Once you've logged in, this is what you'll see. We call it your profile, but you'll see it labeled as student file. Confirm that your student status is correct. If you're looking for a co-op job, this should be UI. UI stands for Unemployed Interview Process and means that you are looking for a job through JobMine. If it isn't UI or you don't see a status, let your CECS contact know. You should see that UI status in four to six work terms listed. The exact number depends on your program. You will also see your academic terms added each time you register for full-time studies, so don't panic when you see several work terms in a row. Your academic terms just haven't been added yet. Please check the accuracy of your JobMine profile before postings open. That way, there will be time to fix any issues, and you won't miss out on the first posting. Once you have made sure your profile is correct, it's time to upload at least one resume. From your profile, click on the Students tab at the top of the screen. This will display a drop-down menu from which you will choose Documents. These documents are your resume and unofficial student transcript, which is referred to as an application package. You will need to select the Edit link the first time you upload a PDF resume. Click on Edit. Choose the file you wish to open, and then click, you guessed it, the Open button. A final click of the Upload button will display a message showing the upload was successful. Your resume will upload into your first of three resume spots that are at your disposal. Remember to review your application package to ensure it displays properly before you begin applying to jobs. Simply click on the package link to review it. Remember that once the job posting has closed, you will no longer be able to edit your application package. To put application packages in those spots, click on Create New Resume to begin the process of uploading. After that, it's the same process to upload packages to all three resume spots. You can further target your applications by swapping specific application packages in and out of those three spots. So, you could use a different application for each of your 50 active applications if you wanted to. The resume that you feel best represents the skills that you most want to use should stay in resume slot number one. If you are still seeking employment later in the term, we will ask your permission to forward your resume in case employers bring us last minute job opportunities. In these cases, we always forward the number one resume. Make sure you have one. Also, I'll show you a time saving tip once we get into job postings, where you can apply directly from your desktop. So why am I showing you how to upload your resume here at all? Because if you don't put a resume in number one resume slot, we cannot apply on your behalf. While I've mostly been talking about resumes, if you want to shorten your job search, make sure you include cover letters wherever you can. By the way, if the job posting asks for a cover letter, please, please include one. Just make it the first page of your resume instead of uploading it separately. For example, if your cover letter is page 1 of your application package, your resume will start on page 2. Targeted cover letters are the way to go, and if you need help with them, review the cover letter content in your co-op prep course. Visit the Career Development e-manual from uwaterloo.ca slash career dash action, or go to the same website to book an appointment. Your resume and cover letter aren't your only documents. If you're in 1B or up, JobMine automatically copies your Waterloo marks from the Registrar's Office and includes them in your application package. You may be delighted by that, or you may want to put together a really good cover letter to compensate. Part 2 of JobMine Basics will show you how to search for jobs, as well as give you a shortcut for applying from your desktop. Thanks for watching.